Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Hey kids! We are so glad to meet you all again. Thank you for joining us online. Now, do you want to guess? Take a guess of what today's topic is. Do you all know what it is? Let me give you a clue. Let's see. Um, all of you who believe in God have an amazing supernatural ability. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 that if you have this supernatural ability, even little bit of this, ability you can move a mountain go ahead now you can type in your answers in the live chat and tell me what today's topic could be and what is that supernatural ability that can move mountains that's correct the topic for today is faith now let's try and understand what faith is with a little guessing game shall we okay you see this bag here in front of me can you all take a guess of what is there inside this bag? What do you think is there in this bag? Type in your answers. You can guess anything. It could be a puppy. Do you think it's a puppy? Or maybe a small pillow? Or how about a book? Yeah, books are nice. Or a flower? Well, what if I told you that this bag had a box of chocolates? Would you believe me? Would you believe me? But how could you be for sure? I could prove it to you. Let me take it out. Okay. Here it is. See that? This is a box of chocolates. Now you know it, right? Now that you see that it's chocolates, you know that I was telling the truth. But what if I didn't take it out of the bag? Would you have uh, trusted me and believed that it really worked? chocolates even though you didn't see it would you trust me would you believe me if you believed when I told you that there was a box of chocolates in this without looking at it right even though I didn't take it out of the bag then you had faith in what I said you had faith that it was chocolate even without looking at it right in the same way when we choose to believe in God, God's word, that it's true and he speaks to us through the Bible. And when we choose to obey him, even when we can't see or understand how things work or how they're going to work out, that is faith. Today, we are going to learn more about faith in God and his word. Are you ready children? I can't hear you all. Are you saying anything? Why didn't you shout a loud yes? Are you ready? Very good. So let's pray and get started. Let's close our eyes and pray. Dear God, thank you for showing us a beautiful Sunday morning. Thank you for keeping us alive. I pray that each one of us watching will dwell in your word. I pray that each one of us will learn how to increase their faith and trust in you. I pray that each one of us will also learn how to live by faith and not by sight. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us to walk in faith with you. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. John chapter 4 verse 23 says, But the time is coming when the true worshippers will worship God the Father in spirit and in truth. In fact, that time is now here. And these are the kinds of people that the Father wants to be his worshippers. God the Father is searching for true worshippers. You see, all the great worshippers mentioned in the Bible, like Moses, Abraham, David and Paul, have given worship the first place in their lives. You see, when we worship God, we honor Him and we lift Him up. So, 
let's worship God in faith and let's please the one who loves us more than we can ever imagine. Yes, we cannot see him with our natural eyes, but today let's see him with our spiritual eyes. Good morning everyone, hope you had a great week. Uh, we're going to spend some time in praise and worship and we're going to be doing some well-known songs, so do join in. Therefore, no one can be against us. Amen. 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 If you believe Amen. that, type a yes in all caps in the chat yes. box. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, next song we're going to sing is called Our God is Greater. I'm sure you all know it very well. So, do sing along. God, you 
you Lord for your mighty and powerful we thank you that you always keep your promises Lord Jesus we thank you that you're faithful in every situation Lord even through the tough times even through the happy times in every season you're always with us you're always faithful Lord we thank you Lord Jesus You are 
to spend together in your presence, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for always being with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Children, have you been in a difficult situation at any time? Sometimes we all go through difficult and challenging situations where we don't know what to do and we feel like very helpless, right? There might be someone uh, uh, troubling you and teasing you in school or it could be hard for you to make good friends or you might not be able to concentrate in your studies which makes you like do bad in your exams, right? So children tell me uh, who do you go to when you are stuck in this kind of difficult situation do you go to your friends or your parents as believers we need to go to God for help in every situation right so today's story is about a king in the Bible who was uh, in a real helpless and uh, uh, trouble because he was stuck in a difficult situation. His name was King Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat was a good king and who trusted God with all his heart and he obeyed God and God was with him. He was one of the kings of Judah. One day messengers came to King Jehoshaphat to warn him that a large army of three kingdoms was marching towards Judah. Jehoshaphat was scared. He knew he would not be able to fight this big army. So he prayed and asked God what to do. He then called all the people in Judah and asked them to fast and pray to God. So all the men, women, boys and girls and little children came together to ask God for help. King Jehoshaphat stood up in front of everyone and prayed, Lord, you are so powerful, so mighty. There is nothing you cannot do. Who can stand against you? We believe that you can do anything. He continued praying saying, God, all these armies have come to have a war with my kingdom and we are powerless and we don't know what to do. But we can cry out to you to save us. We believe you will hear us and rescue us. Wow. That is an amazing and powerful prayer, isn't it? So King Jehoshaphat believed that God can do anything with all his heart. Then something amazing happened. The Spirit of the Lord came on one of the men who was standing there and he said, Listen King Jehoshaphat, God says this. God says not to be afraid because of this big army. He says that this battle is not yours but his and God will fight it for you. Tomorrow God wants you to go in front of the armies and stand still. You do not have to fight. Like seriously standing still in front of the big army? Yes, children, this is our incredible God. He fights our battles. Then King Jehoshaphat and all the people bowed down and worshipped God. And next day, Jehoshaphat took his army to meet the enemy armies. Jehoshaphat encouraged the men and gave them instructions. 
can you guess children who led jehoshaphat's army no it was not swordsmen or men with bows and arrows the army was led by a singing choir who was praising and singing to god they were singing songs of thanks giving to god for winning the war even before they even saw the enemy army that is the kind of faith king jehoshaphat had in god while they were singing and praising god god did something very great god made the three enemy armies fight each other when king jehoshaphat's army went to uh, the place no enemy army was there they were all dead from fighting each other just as god had promised that this was the lord's battle and they would not need to fight jehoshaphat and his army then went and took the things they found among them they found many animals and riches and clothes and other valuable things it was more than jehoshaphat and his men could carry away there was so much that they spent 3 days taking everything they went back home full of joy with jehoshaphat leading them they went into jerusalem playing a band of harps lyres and trumpets they then went into the temple to give thanks to god for their victory so children it seemed like it was really impossible to beat uh, such a strong army but king jehoshaphat and the people chose to believe that god's word was true and when they obeyed god they received a miraculous victory here is something we can learn from king jehoshaphat children he had faith in what god said he acted out uh, he acted out his faith by fasting and praying worshiping god it is important that when we have faith in god and believe in what he says we must also act out our faith for him like for example if someone is sick and needs healing we know that the bible says in exodus uh, chapter 15 and verse 26 that our god is a god who heals us so if we have faith in god's word we must also act out our faith by praying for the person this is how we step out in faith okay children are you ready for the activity have you all been paying attention to today's lesson let's check i will ask you a few questions and i want you to choose the right answer and type a b or c in the live chat section are you ready for your first question question 1 What did Jehoshaphat do when he realized there was a much bigger army coming to fight with them? A. Look for more men in his own army. B. Decide to surrender or C. Pray to God for help. That's right. Option C is the right answer. Jehoshaphat prayed to God for help. Answer C. Pray to God for help is correct. Question 2 What did God say to Jehoshaphat through one of the men who were standing A God is with you you need to do your best and fight well or B God is with you the battle belongs to the Lord and you don't need to fight Very good children the right answer is option B God is with you the battle belongs to the Lord and you don't need to fight Answer 2 is B. God is with you. The battle belongs to the Lord and you don't need to fight. Question 3. Did Jehoshaphat believe 
that they would be victorious without fighting a yes he believed that god spoke the truth b no he couldn't understand how they would win the battle without fighting and so choose not to believe god yes that's right option a is the right answer jehoshaphat believed that god spoke the truth answer 3 is a yes he believed that god spoke the truth question 4 when could jehoshaphat have faith that they would win the battle a before god spoke through the man and told them how they will win or b after god spoke through the man and told them how they would win Yes sir and option B is correct Jehoshaphat had faith that they would win the battle only after they heard what God said Remember children you can choose to believe God for something only when you know what God says about it That's how you have faith Romans 10:17 says So then faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and that is why you need to read your bible so that you know what God says about every little and big thing in your life answer 4b after God spoke through the priest and told them how they would win is correct is person tends to have faith but does not that faith is worth nothing faith like that cannot save anyone james chapter 2 verse 14 When we have true faith, we not only believe in God's words, but act on it. We obey and follow it. When we agree with what God has said in the Bible and declare it using words, our words are an act of faith. When we go through struggles, we must remember God is faithful and His word is true. But we should continue to be in faith. by speaking what his word says so let's stand up hold our bibles high up in the air and say the declaration say this out loud bold and strong with me this is god's word this is god speaking to me i am who god says i am i can do what god says i can do i can become everything god has promised i am saved healed Delivered and redeemed, I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, and well. I am a minister of God, a servant of Christ, and a channel of His blessings to many people. I receive His word, I believe His word, and I live by His word. Christ is my master, and to Him I am in absolute surrender. I walk into the more glorious covenant with God. I live the more glorious life in the Spirit. and I manifest the more glorious man in the street in the street in Jesus name amen so kids remember in the beginning of today's service we spoke about the amazing supernatural ability that all of us who believe in god have yes that is faith Now before I tell you more about our supernatural ability of having faith let me tell you about something that you're familiar with that you already know which is our five natural abilities which are our senses Now our natural senses help us to see hear taste touch and smell right but this supernatural ability which is faith it goes beyond all of that and as as christians we keep hearing the word faith very often right children but what is faith really the bible says that faith is being confident and assured of things that we hope for but we cannot see think about it this way children have you ever doubted that your parents would stop providing for you if mom and dad would end up not paying your school fees anymore or would stop feeding you 
It's not a second that you would have doubted that, right? No way. That's having faith, being completely confident and sure that your needs are taken care of by your parents. Having faith means that we believe even when we don't see it in our natural abilities. For instance, when we pray, we don't see God listening to us, right? We don't feel him physically. We don't hear him the way we do when we speak to others. But we still pray, believing in faith that he hears us and he hears, answers our prayers. But why do we have faith and believe in a God who is unseen? Because we have seen the proof of what he has done and what he continues to do. Faith means that we still know that God is there and that he does the impossible things for us. The Bible talks about people who displayed faith and God was with them. You all know Noah. Noah built an ark expecting for a flood that had not even started. Noah was obeying a commandment that God had given to him. God was with Noah and God saved Noah from the flood. He saved him and his entire family because of Noah's faithfulness. Then there was Joseph. He was only a young boy when he was put into prison for no fault of his. But Joseph continued to have faith in God and prayed and trusted in God. God was with Joseph and made him the prime minister of the same country that he once was a prisoner to. Now, why do we call faith a supernatural ability, children? Jesus says in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, that if you have faith, the size of a mustard seed, like one single grain, and you say to the mountain to move from here to there, it will move. That's the power of faith, children. Things that cannot be done in the natural can be easily accomplished by faith. Sometimes our problems might look too big, like, like the mountain that we just read in Matthew. And we cannot move it by ourselves. But when we just have faith as tiny as this mustard seed, we have faith in God to see that our problems disappear. Now take for example the boy who brought the five loaves of bread and two fish. That was all he had children. But the amazing part of this story is that that little boy had faith to offer the little that he had. His mountain was to feed an entire crowd that Jesus was preaching to. He could have had thoughts of so many reasons not to step out and make the offer. But he chose to step out in faith. And that small action of faith fed more than 5,000 men, women and children. Now we can also be like those faith heroes, children. The Bible tells us that in Hebrews, tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 6 that without having faith, it is impossible to please God. As children of God, living in faith and walking in faith is very important to God. This is what pleases Him. So, how can we walk in faith? Walking in faith means that some we, we just have to trust in God even when we can't see or understand what He is doing in our lives. For example, God might be guiding you to forgive someone that has hurt you or insulted you. It could be a friend who has done this to you or a teacher who has been mean to you. It might not make sense to you um, and could be even difficult. It could be a difficult thing for you to do as well. 
but when we trust that god is doing things in our lives for our good when he is leading us in the right direction and when we obey his instructions we are walking in faith now god never lets anyone down who put their trust in him he is a faithful god now the more we trust god seeing his faithfulness the stronger our faith becomes in him you know children the devil always tries to shoot fiery darts at us he's always trying to attack us how it could be putting fear in us or doubts in us he's always attacking us but we should always turn to god's word in those times to remind us of god's truth to build our faith so let's see a few verses in the bible that will strengthen our faith all right children now sometimes we have doubts like is god really with me the bible says in james chapter 4 verse 8 draw near to god and he will draw near to you The closer we get to God, the closer he comes near you. The Satan might also put thoughts in our head saying that does God think about you or does God care for you? You might feel neglected or left out. Where is God in all of this? Now let's remember what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 11 to 13. It says for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart God is there he is present for us. This is a no, another common doubt that the Satan attacks us with. Does God really love me? Without a doubt children know that he does. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, "But God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us." And this is how jesus proved his love for us when we didn't even deserve it and that is what the power of faith does in our lives children children let us take few minutes to thank god for being faithful and true god's faithfulness is same yesterday today and forever and because god is faithful We are able to trust in him and have strong confidence in our Lord. So, let us close our eyes now and remember all those times when God has been faithful in our lives. And let us thank and praise him. Let's close our eyes and thank him. Abba Father, We want to thank you. Thank you for being faithful and true to us. Thank you God that all your promises are so true. You have faithfully Father helped us to experience the fulfillment of the promises that you've given us. Father, we want to thank you. that your presence is always there with us you have never failed us i thank you and i praise you in jesus name amen children let us now pray and ask god to increase our faith day by day so that we will become strong and confident in the lord and we will be able to fight all the lies and doubts which the enemy puts in our thoughts so let us pray together and ask god to increase our faith
Father, we pray that you will increase our faith every day. Help us, O God, that we will not believe on the lies and the doubts which the evil one tries to put in our minds. Help us, Lord, that we will stick to the truth which you show us through your word. Help us to continue to believe in you. Remove every kind of unbelief from us. And help us, Lord, that our faith in you will increase every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now, let us ask God to help us live every day doing His will. And to use our lives to show everyone around us His love and grace. Let us all close our eyes and pray together. Father, we pray unto you to help us to live every moment, every day of our lives, doing according to your will. Help us, Lord, to be completely in obedience to you. Help us, O God, that through our lives, through whatever we say and do, through our behavior, through our actions, people around us will see your love, your grace. Father, help us that we will be able to set aside our own desires, our own will. Rather, we will be able to say yes to your will in our lives. Help us, Lord, that we will fulfill your will in and through our lives. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.
you enjoyed today's online service and we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Write your comments in the live chat or send an email to kids online at the rate apcwo.org. Also, don't forget to visit us online at apcwo.org slash kids online. We have fun activities and challenges for you to do. Remember, if you do a good work and send it to us, we may include it in our upcoming online service. So make sure to go to apcwo.org slash kids online and do one or more of those activities. We would love to meet with you and pray with you immediately after the service. You can join us on Zoom for a quick catch up using the Zoom login ID and password provided on the screen. Before we close, is anyone's birthday coming up this week? Why don't you type in your name, birth date and your age in the live chat so that we as a team can wish you and pray for you. Have you always had questions about the Bible, about Jesus or how to live for Jesus and didn't know who to ask? Why don't you email your questions to us and we'll do our best to answer it in an upcoming online service. The email to write to is kidsonline at the rate apcwo.org We look forward to hearing from you. Let's pray before we close. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for this wonderful fellowship and time of learning. We thank you for all the children who have joined from different parts of the world. And we thank you for teaching us so well about faith. Lord, we pray that as they have learned about faith, they may walk in faith and see victories coming into their lives. We thank you for each of them and whatever they have learned may grow in them and be fruitful for the kingdom purposes. Father, we bless all the children with wisdom and favor in days to come as they study, as they meet people and as they seek you, Father. Continue to lead them, watch over them and their families. We thank you that they could join today and be blessed. We also want to bless all those who are celebrating their birthdays in days to come. Bless them in every way. Continue to be with each of us through this coming week. And we ask this prayer in the precious and matchless name of Jesus our Savior. Amen. Thank you children. May God bless you. Bye bye. Bye kids. See you next Sunday. Bye everyone. We will see you next Sunday. Bye.